Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Media Files. So today... Yeah. You see all of this right here? Looks like a big, giant blob of yellow paper, doesn't it? Yeah, let's just say that... Um, uh, those are books, obviously. And what kind of books are they? Well, let's just say, for example, if any of you are fans of older school things, like myself, um, especially are into older novels, especially from, like, American Pulp magazines, and, uh, you know, or if you are never heard of anything of like this before, um... Basically, um, you may end up, uh, you know, wanting to try to hunt these down. Because, well, what are they? Well, they are basically novels from a character known by the name as Doc Savage. Yes, so Doc Savage was uh, kind of first appeared around... Uh, American Pulp Magazines and around the 30s and 40s. And, well, you know, during the uh, time, you know, had to get stories out, <clears throat> you know, for the young ones to read. And, of course, you know, for, you know, anybody who loves a great adventure story, uh, of course, he was also, um, uh, basically, he was kind of around, uh, the character was made around the same time that uh, The Shadow and The Phantom was out and about, especially in the early 30s and 40s. And, uh, well, let's just say that there are um, a lot of books in this series. Over 100. This here is a total of, uh, what is it? Uh, let's see here. Looks like 181 books. Yeah. <laughs> uh, plus, also, there actually is an unpublished novel. Uh, entitled The Red Spider. Um, but anyways, uh, so basically Duck Savage is one of those comic book related characters that um, I've only kind of somewhat heard about and I've noticed that uh, that um, he was um, basically, it just looked like a really cool superhero type of book or whatever. And so I was kind of browsing around um, at a, uh, one of those, uh, like, antique malls or whatever, and I saw that somebody had a couple of those, I'm like, oh, cool, I remember re reading something about that character, and they wanted, I kid you not, 15 to 20 dollars, depending on which book it was, you see this whole pile here, which actually goes up and beyond the top of the camera, which goes up to about here, how about 10 cents a piece, folks? I'm not joking. Oh, yeah. So, we got a huge buttload of stuff to go through today. Loads of stuff. Now, like I said, if you are not a fan of this, um, don't doubt yourself. Just because you've never heard of it, you know, it doesn't mean you should just, you know, read one and see what you think. Um, for me, you know... I just grabbed them because I love this old school stuff and I love the artwork on each of these uh, of these front covers. But what's so interesting is the fact that you don't know what book number and what, you know, number it is on the spines because that's kind of how they were back then. And I know I'm kind of ranting and rambling on about this long, I know the intro is a little bit long here, but so we got a big pile of stuff to go through. So I'm just going to name off the title and what book number it is. And I'm not going to read the synopsis of every single book of, ever, of all of it because there's way too much to even find. Um, so now that I have a nice chunk of this, now it's going to be on my radar to collect all of it if I can find um, some of them. Because I know I have the entire series of The Phantom. I've only got a couple handful of books of The Shadow, which those are two characters I love. So, yeah, Doc Savage books, right here on the Media Files. We got a lot to go through today. So, let's get cracking.
All right, welcome back. So, okay. So, Doc Savage. So, now, the author that is actually on the spines is actually a... One of those author names. It's not the real author. And that's not his real name. But the original author, actually, it was a man by name, uh, Lester Dent. And each of these books had really awesome artwork done by Walter B. Baumhofer. Uh, great artwork, by the way. So good. So, okay. So, first of all, I had no idea what numbers I was going to get. Because uh, once I, I just, all I saw was Doc Savage, Doc Savage, Doc Savage. I'm like, cool. I wasn't paying attention to the numbers at all. So, well, let's just say I got lucky. Let's start off right with book number one. Here we are. We have The Man of Bronze. Yeah, basically his skin is bronze. He's real tough. And apparently, according to this, this must be a re-release issue because this one actually has pictures from the 70s movie, I believe. Um, yeah. And there we go. I've never even seen the movie, so now I would love to hunt that down, or I'm gonna have to try to buy it probably on uh probably on uh Amazon, probably. Hopefully it's on Blu-ray. Actually, that'd be awesome. So alrighty, so yeah, book one. That's where you start from. Okay. So up next we have book number two. We've got the Thousand Headed Man. I can try to move these over a little bit. That way they don't fall over. <laughs> okay, so up next we have book number six. We have The Lost Oasis. Now, what I have already done is I have actually piled everything already by book number order. That way it's much easier to, you know, keep things in order. So, uh, from what I have. So, here we have book number eight. We have The Land of Terror. All right, I'm just going to take small piles at a time, so that way it just makes things a lot easier. That way the whole pile doesn't fall over. So up next we have book number 11. We have Fear K. Book number 12, The Quest of Kai, or Kui, I believe. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> so... Yeah, this just looks... I mean, I love this artwork. I mean, this artwork is amazing. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Frank Franzetta uh, artwork. All right, so up next we have book number 14. We have The Fantastic Island. Book number 16, The Spook Legion. Book number 17, The Red Skull. No, it's not based off the Marvel character, but still. <laughs> Gotta love the title. All right, then up next we have number 18. We have the Sargasco Ogre. Shrek? <laughs> All right, uh, number 23, we have Fortress of Solitude. Superman. Yeah, right, nah. Way before, you know, around the same time as Superman, but, you know, still. Okay, so up next we have number 24. We have The Green Eagle. And surprisingly, uh, most of these books are actually in really, really good condition. I'm surprised at how hardly damaged a lot of these are. Um, and on a side note here, all these books were released by Bantam Books. So that's B A T. In a M. Um, so, okay, so moving on. So we have book number 25. We've got The Devil's Playground. Uh, all right. Up next, we got book number 28, The Deadly Dwarf. Number 29, The Other World. Number 30, the Flaming Falcons. Yeah. Gotta love some of these titles. You know what I mean? Number 33. The Terror in the Navy. Number 39. World's Fair Goblin. 
Number 44, The Sea Magician. And number 46, The Minus Man. Yeah, I mean, even though uh, that one, I think, is really the only one that really has a lot of scruffiness to it. But, um, yeah, but basically the author's name, if you're wanting to hunt this down, is Kenneth Robeson. Um, which is actually just a pen name of Lester Dent, actually. Um, so, okay. So, up next, we've got more stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move just a small pile of stuff. That way, everything doesn't fall over into oblivion here real quick. That way, I can just, you know... Remaneuver some stuff if need be. Wish I had a stand. That thing would be so much easier just to have a stand right here and just show off everything. But I don't think everything would actually fit. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll move this out of the way. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so number 49, we have the Sea Angel. Number 53, the Mental Wizard. Number 55, The Golden Peril. Number 57, Poison Island. Number 59, The Yellow Cloud. Number 61, The Living Fire Menace. Number 62, The Pirate's Ghost. And number 63, excuse me, 63. No, nope, I don't have 63. 64, The Motion Menace. Alrighty, so then up next we have number 65, The Green Death. Number 66, Mad Mesa. Number 67, The Freckled Shark. Then we have number 70, we have Spook Hole. 71, we have Murder Mirage. Number 72, we have the Metal Master. And up next, we have number 73, we have the Seven Agate Devils. And the final pile, folks. Yes. Okay, so up next, we have number 77. The South Pole Terror. Number 84. The Mountain Monster. Number 85. The Boss of Terror. Number 86. The Angry Ghost. Number 87. The Spotted Men. Number 90. The Flying Goblin. Number 92. The Awful Egg. Okay. <laughs> ah, here we go. Number 95. Now, this one originally was unpublished for the longest time. We have the Red Spider. This is the one that actually was unreleased for the longest time ever, and it was found, so they had to release it. So there we go. Number 96. Mystery on Happy Bones. And then the, we have here for the last two, we actually have... Um, Sometimes they would actually put two adventures in one. So here we have numbers 97 and 98. We have 
Satin Black and Cargo Unknown. And finally, another double story. We have numbers 105 and 106. We've got They Died Twice and The Screaming Man. Oh, good grief. Man, that is a lot. I mean, let me tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you could, you could probably tell, you know, obviously. Ugh. That's all one pile. That's like half of it right there. And then... Ugh, this is the other half of it. Yeah, that's roughly about 40 books or so out of that entire series. And that's a lot. That is a, that's quite a bit. Um, but that's nowhere near um, everything. And so I've got a, I've got quite a lot to hunt down. And um, so, yeah, quite a lot. Now, I don't know exactly. Let me go on here. Uh, we want the novels. So... Um, so basically these novels actually were, uh, a let's see here, looks like a lot of these were, uh, no, some of these are actually, uh, done a lot later, but, uh, I'm talking about the original, uh, novelizations here, uh, which would be originally released all the way back in March of 1933, and I mean, technically these were magazine stories, but they've all got um, uh, novelizations out of all of them, um, <clears throat> and then so this literally goes all the way through until um, basically uh, the summer of 1949, so there's originally 181 original stories. But that also continued on, you know, Doc Savage would also continue on to get um, magazine stories from the 70s. And also, there's also new original novels that, uh, well, the only original novel at the time was released in July of 1979 by the name of Hell Madonna slash The Red Spider, which is what number 95 in the Batman Books series was. But then from August of 91... They've still kind of have been writing them. So technically, there's actually, if in the books themselves, there's actually uh, 206 books. And with the la the latest one, of course, being written by uh, novelist uh, James Patterson, uh, so which is entitled uh, The Perfect Assassin, which was released in November of 2022. So now I'm going to have to hunt those down as well and see if I can find all of those. But yeah. Like I said, I am nowhere near done with collecting any of these uh, novels at all. I'd love to hunt them down, um, but that's especially the later ones, like the 100 plus ones, that's going to take a while to find. I guarantee it because I've got a lot. I've got several of the earlier ones, and those are also harder to find. But, you know, like I said, it's there's just quite a bit. And there's so now I'm going to have to hunt down. Um, you know, definitely the ones that I don't have as well. Um, but yeah, so this is this is just the beginning of the Doc Savage. Um, you know, dive into Doc Savage. Like for example, as a, if it wasn't for you know YouTubers or Nizarak, I wouldn't be getting into Doctor Who because of all of his collection. And now I'm trying to also find those books as well. I've got some, but not nowhere near as what loads of other people have. But yeah. Doc Savage, that's quite a lot of stuff to read. I've got, and most of these books generally have, uh, they usually run about, let's see, about 120 pages, so that's nothing. You can read any one of those in, like, in mere hours. So, yeah, so. All right, you guys, so with that, I hope you enjoyed a nice look here at uh, some old school books and whatnot. If, even if it's not your cup of tea, uh, you know, just try and see what you think. And, uh, yeah. So with that, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.